I was working at Starbucks and he came in with some friends. I worked up the, up the cards to get his number the third or fourth time. It was my usual location to go get coffee. It was a gradual, like, small talk, and then, um, you know, after a couple times, we agreed that, like, oh, it's, we, we like each other. Let's go grab coffee sometime, but not here. <laughs> we went to Cafe Choo Choo Tango, and then we watched the movie after. I paid for lunch, and then and I paid for the movie. Yeah. We actually had a great day one time when we hung out. He had tickets to see the Dalai Lama, and so it was just a, it was a nice day. We had lunch. When we said goodbye, I said for the first time, I love you. And, and I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I love you. And then he said, I love you too. And, and we just like left with smiles on our faces. I knew I loved him and I didn't want to spend my life with anybody else. And there was literally no other option but forward. So I decided to go shopping for a ring at Robbins Brothers. And I spoke to the general manager. They have really great custom rings and they have great uh, style selection for men. I was like, perfect. And um, I went. I knew what I wanted in, in mind and I made a custom ring. It's uh, two rows of uh, black diamonds. Um, the inner part is the meteorite. Meteorite ore and then platinum fittings with cobalt. You know, it's really cheesy, but um, <laughs> um, I thought the meteorite re went really well. As many stars in the sky, that's that, how many memories I wanted to create with him. Having a little piece of that come to Earth was kind of like uh, fulfillment of that wish. We did have that conversation about who would propose to who. I knew I wanted to do it. The interesting thing about being a gay couple is that you have to negotiate all of those kind of things. You don't necessarily have strict definition of who's supposed to do what. We're terrible at keeping secrets from each other. Oftentimes he knows what I'm thinking before I tell him. So it was really hard to keep a secret, although I did good on that one. Yeah, you did really um, good. So we went to the aquarium. They had an encounter with a sea lion. And you go um, into the, into the um, exhibit. You learn little tricks, how they train them. And they retrieve a buoy. And on the underside of the buoy, it says, will you marry me on it? And um, I, I knew, I was like, oh, he's going to love that. <laughs> so I planned it. I had to have this whole farce where my mom, who is a counselor at an elementary school, got these free tickets, but they're only on this specific day. I told him, take that day off work. I texted his boss and made sure he had that <laughs> time off work. I had so many things planned out I wanted to say, and I totally screwed it up. <laughs> I was like, I wanna, I wanted to marry you for years, and I had this whole cute thing about, there's so many fish in the sea, but you're the only one I wanna swim with, and all that cute stuff, and I totally jumbled it. But he was crying the whole time, so he didn't yeah, notice. So. When we're together, I feel like the other part of me is there. He's almost like a mirror to me. The more I know about him, the more I know about myself. I always tell him that he makes me a better version of myself. I think of him as a, as a missing piece. Being in his presence makes me feel like everything in the world is, is right. It's like finding somebody that you're supposed to be with. I love the little things about him and just being with him doing absolutely nothing. He just... <laughs> Come on, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm with him, I feel like I can be 100% of myself. I feel not just comforted because I can say anything and talk to him about anything. He understands so much of me. If I'm thinking a random thought or I'm having a random feeling, he understands. It makes me feel free when I'm with him. That I am free to be who I am, think anything I want, um, talk about anything I want, do anything I want. And it's effortless. It's, I don't have to be, I don't have to pretend to be anybody I completely 100% myself. There's no trying hard. It, everything just comes naturally. I think we want a pretty traditional style wedding. Uh, my number one is good food and good booze. So. Yes, definitely. <laughs> my friends would ask me like, oh, who's gonna walk down the aisle? Or, or um, people. Yeah, is it gonna be grooms, people, no bridal party, you know, stuff Which like that. Which side do they sit on? Exactly, but it's also great for us because we don't have to go with any tradition. We can just do whatever we want. Instead of having the bride usually gets walked down by the fathers, I think we might have our moms walk us down the aisle. 
50 years from now, I still see us doing pretty much the same thing. First, we want to have a dog 